Hi guys, Simon's Tale, final episode, the finale. Stick around to the end of the video because there's more info there for you. We left off. Um, I was going up and down to Soy BJ Fun Bar in the evenings for a few hours over the coming weeks and helping his other English bar manager get things going. He kept the pool league going. The Mr. Boss would turn up late every evening, would drink the grumpy Mama San. She would turn up late and she would drink. The girls all started to leave. Um, the new manager, as I said, he kept the uh, snooker league going and he got a few customers there. But as the girl, girls started leaving, the new Mama San wasn't recruiting she wasn't getting any new girls even the boss couldn't he was bringing a couple of the soapy girls down to help out but over the coming three months thereafter the bar just nothing happened they couldn't get girls they couldn't get customers the boss mr boss was just a waste of time total waste of time um, him and Grumpy the Mama Sam were just drinking every night Cashy was there after three months of that and I, I went up and down for the first few weeks and helped out um, and then obviously I moved on to the up and coming second bar it, the Soy BJ fun bar finished after three months of no money the Mr Boss promises you know to be make it into a great bar we took that bar from nothing to a great profit uh, everything was running fine and then as soon as he, he moved in on the act it went down the English bar manager that I'd got left went off to do different things the building got shut down quite a while after I believe it was sold off for development and in 2018 I believe it's been knocked down now and they're redeveloping the whole of that soy such a shame because it was it was a really good bar and it was uh, the potential was great but he went back to the soapy so that was the end of the first bar now in that uh, two well in in that time I was meeting with Sue in mornings most mornings and frozen we were just designing the new bar, the layout of the front and the downstairs, the entrance area. The builders moved in so quick, they started putting that place together. It was amazing. But they went through the whole top of the building, decorated it, adjusted some of the rooms upstairs. Um, Sue, she got an office up on the first floor at the back um, and also had a bedroom suite in there as well put in I was going to have the room at the front with the balcony and that was a great room that was a great room the side windows so the beach side the next couple of units down were only single story so there was a gap looking out that window and the window facing me was the go-go bar changing rooms and those girls tease me rotten in the future um, what a great room no jacuzzi that was all smartened up and then downstairs they they knocked through bits and pieces built a small kitchen toilets storeroom and uh, freezers and fridges were purchased and kitchen equipment again no emergency exit it was a front entrance only the little bit at the back was a wall you go out the back door and there was a wall three foot in front of you so you couldn't get out there so that wasn't good all the floor was tiled, all the front part, the roof was put on, roll up metal shutters at the front, a single piece, so the whole front lifted up as a shutter, no individual little door to get in, that was a pain. Shutters were put in, um, we had chrome bars along the front, and tables were built, other tables and things were purchased. The bar itself was uh, down the right hand side, and that was made and tiled and all lots of little tiles and very pretty. Everything was done. 
electrics were all done went really smoothly and it was a matter of I think four weeks and it was done you know then it was the sign and getting all the beer pumps in and everything else at which point we were ready for opening um, taking a house and turning it into a bar in four weeks was I couldn't believe it especially in Thailand but Sue pulled lots of strings I got to move in I had you know that great room but I got to move into the room above the bar uh, a week before we opened so that was good just to paint those shutters front shutters but getting in and out was through those so I had sets of keys that was my new home Sue had the room behind that she spent probably half the week in above were going to be rooms for all the girls there was one room upstairs for the cashier and her husband <coughs> who both work with Sue and they moved in and then there was rooms up for girls and things and a big room up on the top um, where in the future quite a few girls were going to stay in one room so all done all ready for for the launch we were going to have a big party to launch being in soy 7 it was going to be a success anyway you know it was going to be a balloon party we arranged um food from a bar in soy 8 a guy there uh, who had a catering company as well so he sorted out all the food for the for the event we had frozen had managed to recruit some of the girls that we had at Soy BJ. She also managed to recruit a few more with signs outside. The soapy girls were going to come down, and then if you refer back to a video I did, I think it was I Bar Find 23 Girls or something, that's the party and the opening and everything that happened thereafter. So we were done. Um, at this point, just before the week before the opening, while I was still in the other room, a week before I moved, so <laughs> I get confused on my dates, but Ning reappeared. So that was good. It was nice to see her. Um, her fella had given her a load of money and wanted her to buy land up in her family village, up in Buriram. And they were going to settle down and build a place, and he was going to come backwards and forwards. So she was really excited and she she was around the um, bar opening and things and shortly after disappeared off so lost touch with Ning which was a shame but she was happy so that was good. And that is setting up a bar in Thailand and running a bar, the two bars. That's my story of how I got the job, how I did it and how I felt lucky. Going forward, if you refer back to the old, there's a lot of videos there that tells you all the stories. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was, a, it was a good experience. Would I do it again? I don't think so. <laughs> and we came up to the opening and it was a great success. Lots of money to be had. Uh, I was looked after with the salaries and everything. It was really good. And that, that's it with the bar manager. Very good, very enjoyable times. <laughs> so right now, if I'm right, you're watching this on March the 7th, on a Wednesday. At which point, depending on where you are in the world watching this, I am up in the air moving to Thailand um, and we'll be landing in Thailand on the uh, in Thai time I think late afternoon so this finishes the bar series absolutely perfect for my move to Thailand I have got a couple of videos jib updates that I think will do sometime in the near future um, and then over the next year if I get chance to get hold of the likes of Frozen and some of the other girls. I'll see if I can get them on video or on photos or get some info from them. Um, 
and bring them to the channel that would be good be a good way of wrapping up the the bar stuff but I won't be managing a bar in the future or owning a bar in the future so I hope that the all the bar series I did I mean it, it has helped some of you you've said I hope you've enjoyed them it, they've been uh, very good to do now I've got the new exciting adventures ahead of me with being a pro proper Thai vlogger and uh, we'll see what uh, the future brings so that was a bit of a short video um, tied it all up and uh, I will the next video you see me on I will be in Thailand it might take me about a week when I, after I've landed to get things straight I'm going to have to do some sort of live stream try and get a live stream organised but I've got to get internet into the house the old fibre uh, broadband but I might try with a sim card on the phone and see what happens never tried that before so yeah next time you see me I will be a Thai vlogger and all this background would have changed and the temperature so really looking forward to that so for now I'll say bye for now thanks uh, for watching thumbs up please share like subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, and it's going to be a good journey going forward see where we go shall we <laughs> lots to do and i've got some painting to do oh dear bye for now